Okay, so we're going to look at some of the custom visuals in Power BI and how we use them. So you can see here I've navigated to the page that's the gallery for the custom visuals and I'm going to choose a few to download now. So I'm going to go ahead and download Bubbles. I'm going to download the globe map. And I'm going to download the stream graph. And you can see there's a wide, large number of different visuals available here and it's growing all the time as well. Okay, now that they're downloaded, I'm going to go over to Power BI Desktop and we're going to import them and make use of them. So here I am in Power BI Desktop and what I've done is I've preloaded some data here from the World Bank, which is uh, the high technology export data for countries around the world on a yearly basis. So you can see the plain data here. I can choose a different year in this slicer and I can see, you can see in the table, um, the export data for the different years. So let's go ahead now and add in our visualizations. So come over to the visualizations pane, click on the import ellipsis, choose to import, and I can see my three visualizations here. So let's just grab them and import them. Globe map first. Then I'm going to do the stream graph. And then finally, our bubbles. Okay, and now we're ready to make use of them. So let's try bubbles first of all. So what I'm going to do here is uh, go onto the canvas. We're going to add the bubbles visualization, which I do just by clicking on it. We'll make it a bit larger. Now we can set our properties. And what I'm going to show here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show um, the country name my nodes and I'm going to show high technology exports for the country. And so there you can see I've got my nice uh, bubble visualization. I can use my slicer, go through different years and you can see we slice the data year by year and the uh, visualization updates. Okay, now let's go and look at the globe and what I'll do is I'll just take the bubbles off I'll go ahead now, I'm going to add in the, the globe map visualization. So I'll go ahead and click that one. A bit large, similar to before. And I'm going to use the same fields again. I'm going to use a uh, country name. In fact, I'm going to use country code to specify my location. Okay, and uh, I'm going to make my bar height equal to the measure for technology exports, same as before. So let's grab that, drag that over there. Now you can see I've got my visual, I can pan, zoom in. And you can see we've got a nice 3D globe visualization of our data. Okay, one more visualization to show, which we imported, which was the stream graph. So for that, I'm going to flick over to the second page. And I filter the data a little bit more aggressively here to just include half a dozen countries in Europe. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and we're going to add in the stream graph visualization by clicking on it. Let's put it over here, make it nice and big. And we'll add in the fields as before. So what I'm going to do this time though is I'm going to um, chart the, uh, in the export data on a year by year basis. So let's grab year. Series, and I'm going to take the data as my high tech exports. Oh, pardon it, category. There we go. And I'm just going to turn off the what's called the wobble on this visualization, the wiggle even. So that's um, across my selected countries. That's the um, exports year by year as a whole. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to um, slice that by country or filter that by country. So let's go ahead and make that change. So we're going to put the country name as my series in here. And now you can see I've got a nice uh, visual representation of the high tech exports for my chosen countries on a year by year basis. If I want to, I can um, 
filters before, similar to before, by clicking on a particular country. And you can see the exports just for that country and for time. Okay. So hopefully that shows how easy it is to make use of the custom visualizations in Power BI.